everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. Can you make money buying used PC parts and reselling them online? Well, this is something I actually undertook a little while back to see if it was possible, see what kind of deals are out there things like that, and I think it went pretty well. But before we get into the video, be sure to check out our merchandise store at the first link down below. That is shop.thebreakdown.xyz. Over there, you'll find tons of awesome t-shirts with gaming and tech designs on them that you'll want to wear every single day of the week. So go check them out. That is the first link down below, shop.thebreakdown.xyz. But let's talk about this. So to start off, I started on Facebook Marketplace looking for a CPU because CPUs, from what I've seen, have been holding their value pretty well. I didn't want to go with a graphics card here when buying a used PC part, right? I didn't want to go with a graphics card because those at the time were going up in price and down in price and everywhere, right? It was the beginning of June and graphics cards were actually starting to go down in price, so I didn't want to get into that. RAM, on the other hand, is so up and down. I didn't know how to price it. However, a processor looked pretty good to me. I didn't see any issues whatsoever with prices fluctuating like crazy in the processor market, and they didn't because I was able to execute a pretty good flip here and actually profit flipping a PC part on eBay after buying it on Facebook Marketplace. So a lot of this method that I have here kind of relies on people not knowing how to value something locally and you knowing how to value something nationally, right? Prices locally are typically a lot cheaper than they are nationally on the used scale, right? If you're looking at new stuff, right, brand new, like, a, I don't know, like let's say cereal or something, on the national level, cereal is going to be cheaper, the same price pretty much everywhere, right? There's going to be some price fluctuation because of distribution, but overall, it's going to be the same. However, on the used market, here, a processor where I live might cost $150, but in New York City, it might cost more, it might cost $200, or it might just cost $125, right? So there can be prices differentiation between different areas. However, nationally kind of has the similar same price, and typically, it's going to be more than the price locally because there's less demand, so that's going to drive the price down locally. However, nationally, there is demand, so it's going to drive the price up. General supply and demand, guys, we're talking economics here. But nevertheless, here's what I did. I've been an Intel 4770K on Facebook Marketplace. So this is an i7 processor, quad core, a processor I'd actually used before and still use to this day in my main rig. We also have another rig that uses this processor, so I was very familiar with it. And it was only priced at 170. Now, I wasn't gonna pay that for it. I went ahead and talked them down to 150. But before cash changed hands, before I made the purchase, I went over and looked on eBay and I saw what these were being sold for on eBay. And as you can see, while some of them are being sold in the 190 to 210 range, some are also being sold in the 240, 250, 270 range if they have a CPU cooler, the stock Intel cooler, and a box with them. The processor I was buying just so happened to have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made too much money on this deal. Still think I could have bought this and flipped it, but I wouldn't have made as much money as I did here. I didn't make a killing, but I made a decent profit. So anyway, I find it on Facebook Marketplace, and there are tons of these out there, by the way, these deals, guys. I legit was able to find two more processors that I'm in, in the process of buying right now while just before making this video, right? Just looking for some more because people on my local level don't know how to value these things when you compare them to the national price, right? Locally, a lot of them are a little high actually, but on the national level, they could be getting $100, $200 more. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to list on eBay. They don't know how to do things like that, right? Basically, this is an eBay flipping business. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of an eBay flipping business, but that's basically what this is. We're just doing it with computer parts, right? So nevertheless, I go and I buy the processor. Everything looks good. I don't test it. I did not test this processor, and that could have been a bad idea. That could have been a good idea, but I didn't test it. I just left it in the box, looked it over, made sure there was no scratches on it, all that stuff, but overall, just left it in the plastic cover, took some photos of it, threw it up on eBay, and three days later, got an offer and uh, actually listed it at $249.99 and got a buy at $249.99 plus shipping. So when it was all said and done, this ended up coming out at $249.99 plus $13.74 for shipping. 
Not too shabby, if you ask me, considering I only paid $150 for this processor and then spent $15 on gas going to pick it up and bringing it back to my house. Not bad at all. So when you run the numbers here, my total cost in on this processor after shipping costs and everything was $178.74. Now, remember though, I had to pay for shipping, sure, but I was reimbursed for that from the buyer. So let's go ahead and look at what the total amount I actually got for the processor was, including what they paid for shipping. So the total amount this processor was sold for was $263.73, which is right in line with where the processors that have boxes and stock coolers are on eBay. As you're seeing on your screen right now, I have probably earlier in the video, that's kind of where they're based for the Intel Core i7-4770K. So, not too bad there. All in all, my profit on this was a cool $84.99 when it was all said and done. And overall, it was probably about an hour, hour and a half of work. So, if you're looking at that, like 84 bucks an hour, you know, even 40 bucks an hour, not too shabby when you're dealing with PC parts and having some fun while you're doing it. So I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. I would not recommend doing this unless you're pretty savvy when it comes to looking at prices on eBay, figuring out what stuff is selling for, and things like that. Specifically, there are some PC parts like RAM and GPUs that I would stay away from. Motherboards are also pretty risky. Processors seem to be exactly where you want to be right now. Cases and things like that can also sell pretty well, but they are logistic nightmares to ship, so keep that in mind. But yeah, that's my experience flipping PC parts. So can you make money selling used PC parts? Yes, you can. And this is also proof that if you keep your original boxes, you can actually come out pretty well when you upgrade your system by reselling your old parts as long as you do it within like, this is like a four-ish year old CPU we're talking about. So if you had upgraded four years later, you would have recouped quite a bit of your money if you had kept your original box and cooler. So awesome stuff there. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Did you like this video? It was a bit different. Let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends, all of that awesome stuff. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech and I'm out guys. Peace.